Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. Today we're going to talk about false gods. I believe you're reading Isaiah in the Bible. Yes, I've been reading these, these items uh, in the Bible there recently, ever since my, uh, well, ever since actually earlier this year, uh, early, earlier last year. And, uh, and he talks about the people at that time believing in material wealth, not giving anything to the poor and needy. Now, it was even, the, the problems that we have today have occurred in the world when it, when it, when it, going back even to before Christianity appeared. Uh, this was in, the, in, in, in Israel where uh, there was, uh, with the Jewish people, uh, a recognition that there was one God. And Isaiah and all these prophets were, at, were, were foretelling this and that there would some healer or they call him Messiah or Saviour would come uh, to sort of bring them on. Uh, uh, sometimes they thought about it in material terms, but in actual fact, also uh, spiritual terms. Uh, but the people that were perhaps practicing it were hoping material, in, in material times, because human beings have this, if you like, uh, problem that they seek material wealth or success. Uh, at the extent of um, the spiritual development, uh, if they put as much into their spiritual development, even fraction as much, even saying a prayer, our Father and Hail Mary, glory to Father every day, if they, if they actually know it, if they can even do that little bit, and if they're, 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 they're nurturing that end of it, uh, but they don't even do that. So this is the material end of it. This is the false gods of uh, seeking material wealth because uh, you come in with nothing and when you go out, no matter how much you have, you'll work with nothing. So all the acquisitions and all the rest of it has no good to you. Uh, that's number one. It doesn't matter if you're uh, a royalty that you can leave uh, to for future generations. You go, come in with nothing and you go out with nothing yourself. Uh, so during your life on this earth, if you are very successful and think that that's the be all and the end all and you lose your soul, it's the same, if you gain the whole world and lose your soul, you have nothing. Because you're only here for a short spell. Uh, some people used to say, in the times of eternity, it's the flickering of a candle. But this is what the, the false gods are. And they often do queer things, people with power. Just mention we, we know about the wars and all the rest of us. And one of the things that uh, is in the Bible, I found a poet named Syrah, and uh, this is before our Saviour was born. And he said, If you do evil, evil will befall you, and you will not know from where it comes. Oh. Now, when you ponder that, and when these politicians, the like of boiling this farmer, this I won't call him a doctor because he's not practicing where his Hippocratic oath is supposed to be to save life. Uh, so this boiling and this government, Fine Gael, Varger and Harris and all the rest of it, and the uh, opposition that supports abortion, um, that is an example of uh, acquiescing in evil and it will come back to them and they won't know from where. Now that is the that is in the Bible, and that is even even common sense, because there is such a thing. The opposite to good is evil. The opposite to right is wrong. There isn't this middle of the road, this lukewarm business. Whether you're you're starting well on the one hand this and on one hand that, and so on and so forth. That's nonsense. You either believe or you don't. And if you don't, you can't call yourself a Christian. And unfortunately, a lot of the people in this country can't call themselves Christian because they put up the false god of so-called compassion. And not compassion for the unborn, but compassion for I don't know what. Uh, Lord, yeah. Lord Snooty Leo of Rodker <laughs> um, wants to bring in a million people into, the, into Ireland. Um, do you think he's got his priorities 
Do you think they're a bit confused or something? Oh, very confused. I mean, this is the sort of evil that that that, that they come. And it's not 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 alone. Well, he he might be one of these elites that's protected from all that, uh, but the rest of it won't be. As a matter of fact, people now are beginning to feel that they've been put upon and it's been treated like arson in various parts of the country where they don't want a whole heap of uh, um, Muslim migrants coming into their uh, places and uh, because they know from experience that they, that they don't, um, uh, the, these, these um, migrants don't integrate and don't want to inter integrate. You've only got to be around the country with your eyes open. We don't live in some cloud cuckoo land like, well, like what Mr. Varricker and these people live in. We live in the real world and we see what we see and not too many of them uh, go out the way to be friendly and, and, and helpful and assertive. Very few. You know, there are some exceptions, of course, there is. But the majority, as far as I can see, are quite sulky and, and demanding and are taking jobs from Irish people where Irish people had to immigrate down the centuries. And when Irish people wanted to be housed, there was no houses for them. Now suddenly, uh, uh, there's houses uh, for all these ones that's out of land and nearly uh, over half a million to one of a million. And uh, plus hotels that were hotels for people that could die now, but going to be for 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 um, for these asylum asylum seekers. How come they didn't provide that like that for Irish people that were coming hard times in England and other countries? Uh, they don't didn't seem to be too quick about that. So where is this coming from? Uh, so, Mr. Varricker would want to be disabused of his notion to allow another million come into the country when he can't go after what's here already. Uh, the Lincoln Health Service is a thousand people on, on trolleys. Leo Varricker seems very keen on, on diluting or getting rid of Irish national identity. Correct and right. Uh, that's his, uh, that seems to be his agenda and, uh, and, uh, and the media, the misguided media that has lost it knowledge of what's right and what's wrong, they have an agenda and uh, <coughs> the rest of us knows that. <coughs> so here's Mr. Farrakhan's veins, or Mr. Farrakhan's veins. <laughs> you slipped there John Moan, that was a call of a fr Freudian <laughs> slip or a Freudian slip. <coughs> I just slipped too, I don't know where, where it comes from, uh, but uh, <coughs> him and uh, his, his party, it, uh, hopefully <coughs> an election will come uh, fairly soon, uh, but I think uh, him and uh, the people that Fianna Fáil is supporting, this me all man, are afraid of what the people might say <coughs> because they don't want them. And uh, and I hope uh, that when an election is called, that it'll be the end of them and we'll hear no more. I know it's Mr. Kenny uh, that uh, uh, was was <coughs> anti-Catholic and close and and giving out about the Vatican as if. The Vatican has nothing to do with this country. <coughs> it was under their own control, and whatever harm they've done, they've done it themselves. Uh, but it gave Mr. Gilmore the opportunity to close this marvelous embassy to the to the Vatican, to the Vatican or the Holy See. You okay. And this is the totalitarian uh, government that we have. They're not too divorced but with their policies from the communists. Now, why they want to settle the country, uh, why Vatican and all the rest of them want to settle the country with another million when we can't even look after our own and our own our Antalys, especially if they're old. Uh, and I wonder, are that, is this an, 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 an effort to bring in euthanasia and bump us all off if we reach a certain age that we're not uh, <coughs> paying and walking our way? Uh, in other countries, the value uh, the <coughs> senior citizen for the experience that they have, but it doesn't seem to be in this country. You mentioned John, the Galway County Council has stopped prayers. What's that about? Well, they, they stopped it a few years ago because don't forget that's where Higgins, the president, come from. Uh, so they're kind of gone atheistic and to make out that uh, multicultural, it's not multicultural, this is Ireland. As far as I know, it's, it's Irish people in this, I don't think. <coughs> it's anybody else that's supposed to be in it. But they've allowed all these in to come into it. And now they're sort of making out that this is what they're hating for. Not to be, what's this the word? Uh, they have some old nonsense, but they've done that, so they won't have looked for that sort of effort. And one or two other places have done it. And I shouldn't wonder in the dawn, I think, to say a few prayers or say something. But there's enough atheists in there now uh, that voted for abortion, so I presume that'll be the next. The same way as they want to change the name of the hospital in Drogheda and the people's objecting it from its 
proper name, Our Lady of Lourdes, uh, which it won't be changed in my lifetime. So, but I just want to find the Galway County Council. What, 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 when did they have prayers? I, well, they had it always before the council meetings. All oh, right, okay. Uh, there, up to uh, a couple of years ago, and then and then uh, they, they abandoned because I presume the socialists must have been in charge because uh, naturally we know most of them are anti-Catholic and anti-religious. There are not too many of them staunch Catholics. Um, or even lukewarm Catholics. Um, so th th this is what they've done, and some one or one or two other Yorks have done it as well. And uh, you'll find now, uh, for example, in the Manor Hospital that was founded by the Sisters of Mercy, uh, there's crosses in, uh, in 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 various places, and you know, in in, in uh, where you go if you're getting treatment. I shouldn't wonder uh, shortly if they want to get rid of them. And uh, it was Martyr Misericordia. Uh, founded by the by the Sisters of Mercy, and now I think they probably want to call it university this time or the other. They're mad about this business of universities. Uh, there's enough universities, and leave the hospitals alone for what they were paid for by the nuns years ago, and and don't let the, the anti-Catholic bigots get their paws on at them, and they're there in the background. They're small in number but they've managed to work their way into where they can implement these sort of policies. They, they have to be resistant. They might call the matter abortion land. Well, they might call it. Uh, we were talking about something, was it Adobe? Uh, Global homo. Adobe Glo Glo <laughs> homo. And, uh, uh, if we could come up with a word for what the, this uh, huh? business of uh, exclusion zones that they want, is that uh, like, sometimes you have exclusion zones at airports so as planes can land. Now, in Britain, apparently, uh, these, um, whatever they call them, these, these little yokes that the people can make fly. What do you call them? You know, those the drones. drones uh, they've managed to hold up the airport. So I can see uh, the um, people that are, um, what do you call them, the, these uh, extremists in any organization. That's the next thing they'll be doing. So they'll interfere with the traveling pa pa uh, passengers because you can guarantee they'll come up with whatever uh, ploy they can and news people in the media, the same as Mr. Gay Bourne supported same-sex marriage referendum. I don't think he was asked about the abortion, but he probably supported that as well. And uh, uh, various other, and McAleese, the former president, supporting the same-sex marriage referendum because she has a, she has a son that's a homosexual, and, uh, or maybe for some other reasons. And uh, these are the people that's in the in law. We have to resist them and see that they have an agenda that we, we, we don't want them to destroy our culture and our, and our country and, and leave us in, uh, up the creek without a paddle. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much John. Thank you very much Oliver.